Hello everyone, welcome to the stream, welcome to number 7 Not sure, I lost count already, I think it's probably 8, 9, 10 We're probably in the double digits Anyways, for those watching in Twitch, hello everyone And for those who are watching on YouTube Welcome to another exciting episode of the Scar Nexus series Where today we're gonna be just It's gonna be a really bonus episode, really It's all gonna be bonus episode I don't think I'm gonna do anything too big in this stream Because I have something to do within the hour So, or actually, it depends on how things go uh, I might actually be an extra long stream. Who knows? But I was uh, watching another Scar Nexus stream a couple minutes ago, probably like half an hour ago, and I kind of got spoiled of what's to eh, what's to call my. Eh, I mean, what's to happen in a little bit. So, well, actually, never mind. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. So we're on the final like half of this game. So we're on the conclusion and an accidental meeting. So uh, once we do all the story stuff, I'm pretty sure we're going to go and see our mom. So that's what I saw on another stream. So I didn't quite go ahead of that. You know, I just like left the stream. I, I felt rude, but you know what? It's Alice. So Alice, if you see this video for whatever reason, you happen to watch it. I apologize. I didn't mean to bounce like that real quick. Anyways, uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Way to get like god damn all right anyways enough of that let's go ahead and get started with this episode with a bunch of freaking bonus episodes which i'm freaking excited so for the first one we're gonna get rid of is the guy that we hate the most so you know if we give the person that we hate the least or the most amount of attention they'll come in handy i know i call that reverse psychology all right i think that's i think that's the term all right are you really going to greet your long <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I read that as are you finally going to greet your long ass lost mother? I don't know why I was you know, whatever uh, Looking like that. We should really rest when you can. All right, let's do the bond episode brother All right, let's see what shining shining Yubito, I need to talk to you now. What did you come to insult me again? No, I don't want anyone else to hear we're going to Musubi's come on. Hey, wait, I didn't agree Oh, oh man can't I can't deal with this man. I can't. I don't like this man. I hate his guts. He just takes us left and right. So, what do you want? We had an argument last time. Yeah, I remember. You don't want to pick up where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. No, I don't. I was too emotional before, so... I'm sorry. Wait, what did you just say? I said I'm sorry. What's strange about that? I know when I've gone too far. Sure, sure. Yeah. He's very I, weird. Uh, said things I didn't mean to. But I didn't expect you to just apologize. He's redeeming himself. I called you a pampered little boy. But when I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. You You're still a shithead, all right? Then almost lost your memory. You've had plenty of your own hardships. Well, when you say it like that... Did I really have it that hard? Would hmm. you accept my apology? Hells no. Yeah, no. Accept. You would tell uh, you. You would tell me have accepted that. I don't. I'm only apologizing for what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dimwit, so I won't apologize for that. Can't he be a little nicer? I guess that's just his personality. Mm-hmm. Speaking of hardships, you said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? Born without superpowers. Huh? It means someone born without powers. Exactly. Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. Well, it's kind of unclear. Wait, are you worried about me? <laughs> no, I just... I can't understand how you can say that so lightly. I mean, no matter what it is what it is. Stances, people without powers are discriminated right? against. It doesn't matter if you're a Sumeragi or not. No matter how much they flatter you to your face, they're laughing at you in their heads. I don't think I could handle that. I know that people won't look at me the same, but it won't change who I am. There are people who see me for me. Not as a psionic or as a Sumeragi. I can't tell if you're tough or just stupid. You've had so many bad experiences, but you look so self-assured. Always. When I see you, it makes me think I can't whine about my little problems. <laughs> no, 
I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. Uh huh. I've worked so hard, but my real ability still isn't appreciated in the OSF. It's irritating. Like every small YouTuber out there oh, and yeah. streamer, huh? <laughs> I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a sumeragi. Just like you. Huh. Way to be insulting without trying. I'll give you some advice. If you feel like you're not being appreciated, then get so strong that people have to appreciate you. That's the only way. It's what I worked so long for. And what I'll keep working for. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Unexpectedly? Why is it unexpected? I just always thought you were the cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it. We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, we're not alike at all. I mean, I'm not rude like you. What? If you had been nicer about your advice before. Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. Damn, my boy. Listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Of course it was. I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Will you give me more advice sometime? I kind of forgot the advice. Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. I hate Shaden's character. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. Hmm. You know, I kind of hate those like type of like character developments, but I guess this is character development, right? You're not doing too bad lately. Wait, did you just compliment me? What kind of person do you think I am? I just hate the incompetent. I show respect to those that are capable. Also, that wasn't a compliment. I was just recognizing your efforts. Hey, all right, Shiden, I see you. All right, you know what? You know, I may ha hate his guts, but you know, like what you hear from him is the real shit, you know? that I appreciate those type of people, you know? Even though I hate them, but I love them at the same time. All right, it's a love and hate situ relationship. There you go. Alright, so now we can finally get whatever this is. So some lightning shock. Does it get some paralysis out of this? Answer him and he'll appear as a vision for Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, fine. So, got Kame as a present from Shiden. Don Pickles. Whatever that is. Have you learned to appreciate how amazing I am? Nah, screw up, bro. I you're great, Shiden. I've always thought that. <laughs> Amazing is a big word. Great is is second to none. All right, second to none, boys. Second to none. Hey, right. so I hear you're pretty good at houser, but how's your wisdom on everyday life? The static electricity I make is giving me problems. It affects my work sometimes too. I want to do something about it. That's out of left field. I do know something though. The easiest thing is to put your palm on a wall or some wood for a while before you touch a door now. It happens easily when your skin is dry, too, so make sure to stay moisturized. Is your skin dry, Shiden? I'd rather not talk about my skin, but I have a little dry lately. That's pretty good advice. Thanks. Mmm. I didn't know that. So we get static electricity because our skin is dry? Really? Huh. Mmm. Okay, that, that's actually news to me. All right, let's see all this extra chat over here. Kind of want to see what this is all about. So I've been thinking about what Kagura said, about what the Lunar people are trying to do and what happened. But I'm still not confident, I understand. I'd like you to explain it to me again. Don't worry about it, Sigami. Aside from me and Kyoka, it was a lot of information that got dumped on all of you. As far as I understand, it all began when colonists were sent to Earth from the moon. Yeah, I guess it was around then. The colonists' goal was to return to their homeland and reduce the population of the overpopulated moon. However, they ran into a problem. The other particles that transform humans into others started falling down on the moon and the Earth. Okay. Pretty interesting. Uh, in order to draw those particles away from the moon, they needed to override the gravity device that was regulating Earth's climate. So, they wanted to sacrifice earth in order to save just the moon and the one who was trying to execute that plan was kagero who was an agent from the moon yeah that's right but i messed up 
That's when the moon decided to try a different method. If they couldn't avoid the other particles from falling, then all they had to do was direct them all to Earth. Now, if they enveloped the Earth with a belt of other particles, the colonists on Earth wouldn't be able to return to the moon. They could kill two birds with one stone by also preventing the population from growing again. Ah, I see you. So that's the reason the extinction bell came to be. Does that mean that the moon's plan succeeded? Hmm, question mark? I don't know. After that, I lost contact with the moon, so I have no idea what happened up there. I can't imagine when everything... I can't imagine that everything worked out for them with the other particles, though. This is just a conjecture, but I believe that the moon continues to face a crisis, regardless of the results of their plan. You said the moon is responsible for the others descending onto Earth, no matter what their initial objectives may have been. Continuing that for 2,000 years is abnormal, to say the least. Whether they're afraid of Earth's retaliation or they ran into some other trouble, the moon is facing desperate times. Yes, even though they may have more advanced technology than we do, this is why I believe they are still being threatened by the others. Others on the moon too? Hmm, if that's the case, it must be hard for you, Kagero. I mean, that's your homeland after all, and where your family was. I really appreciate your concern, Sugumi, but I honestly have mixed feelings about it. Everything happened such a long time ago anyway, that's pretty much all I can tell you about it. So does that mean that Kagero is the only one alive? Because he talks about wanting to return back to the moon, but I'm pretty sure his family is all dead at this point since it's been like a 2,000 year gap from the time that Kagero came back to Earth. So, But then again, they do have technology so they could live longer or potentially freeze themselves and then wake up at a certain given interval, something like that. I mean, that's what Kagero did back on Earth. Well, here on Earth, so it's probability. Anyways, that's that. So that's... Um... That's that. Tell me again what happened on the moon. Now it's about the mysterious Septentrion. So is this a Septentrion Kodoma? I, I really want to fight Kodoma or have more commentary. I think when I I really want Kodoma to be back into this series, like just for a little bit, one more shot, maybe. All right. Since we're exchanging information, let me ask you what to do. Who is your favorite Septentrion? Oh, your favorite Septentrion? Well. I can't really say he's my favorite anymore, but Major General Karen's power is just nasty. It's probably Major General Fubuki, though. His power is so cool, and he is very generous with fan service. M fan service? Hmm, most newbies like either first class General Karen or second class General Fubuki. We already know Shidens. Seto. Seto Kaiba. Nah, 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 Seto Kaiba. But yeah. Big words. Who do you like then, Shiden? Uh, I still think 7th class belongs to Seto, so let me say that Seto, 7th class, is my favorite. If I got 7th class, though, no, I won't say anymore. Well, I'll talk about this some other time. Just me and you, Wataru. Alright, we'll have a long, nice, long talk after Septentrion. Um, I mean, alright, we'll have a nice, long talk about Septentrions. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let's go on back to the bonus episode where we were doing about Kazane. Speaking of Kazane, let's do it. Let's do it. Bon episode. I don't know who I did it with. I think it's Arashi. Arashi hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. <laughs> it is Arashi, damn. Why she wanted to make it in the first place? She said it was to help people like me rest. All right. She also said I was just like someone. I know. I'll call that person up. She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out. Oh, wait, who are you going to call up? Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Oh, that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. Damn! You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. Yeah, I, I thought you'd say that. That's what my sister would I'm say to sorry me. Sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I want to see that reaction. I received a message from Yuito. <laughs> he said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi. Fubuki. Brother. I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. 
You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest. Mm. So consider this payback. The force break program. I can't believe you. <laughs> Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Kabuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. Aww. I'm surprised to hear you say that. That's a big sister, Dean. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Damn, Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, <laughs> physically. I know. Thank you. Aww. Hmm. Sorry. Maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. What is cathartic? I that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. What is it? The, the force break program? My vision. It's the light version of the break program. <laughs> it starts spinning your vision so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> How's that for relaxing, Yuito? Ah, oh, Arashi's the best. You're actually pissed, aren't you? <laughs> yes, she is. Never mess with a girl. It's tough being the good one. Especially when they're a good You're programmer. A good one? Come on. Do I look like a good girl? I'm talking about you. Public impression will often hold you back in life. I just thought it must be hard for you. <laughs> You're always so nice. Thanks. Oh, we finally reached level five with my favorite girl, Rashi. Arashi. Arashi, I mean. <laughs> I was going to say Arashi. <laughs> Arashi. All right, so we have the prolong SAS effect. That's pretty dope. That's cool. Now we just need one more level. No, thank you. All right, are you okay, Lazy Yui? Oh, Lazy Yui? Yui? Okay, I, I was thinking of Sword Art Online. I was like, who's this lazy Yui? <laughs> Alright. So is your dizziness better? I hope that teaches you not to play pranks like that on an adult, lazy Yui. I should prank uh, I should thank you, though. It looks like the byproduct of my rest program is worth more than I thought. I still feel sick. But I'm relieved that you said that. I feel bad for what I did. Sorry. This isn't really an apology, but I want you to teach... No, I want you to teach me how to switch gears like an adult. Lazy Yui wants to learn directly from Master Lazy Ara. <laughs> How can I put this? You're too serious to help. Fine, I'll teach you the basics of being a bad adult. Hey, 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 show me the basics. Please do, please do, please do. <laughs> of being a bad adult. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we still have a couple more Bond episodes with these people. Alright, so let's go and talk with my... Do I talk with the fuck boy or do I talk with the strong lifting guy? Mm, mm. When they when you weigh it like that, I, I I always go for the. It was a gamble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go with this guy next. Yuito, do you have a moment? No, I don't. You look worried. Did something happen? Yes, I must conduct this with the utmost secrecy. It's slightly dangerous. Yes. It may be difficult to manage on my own. Stronger so juice? I was wondering if you could help me. Stronger of juice, sir? Help. So how dangerous is it? For a while now, I've been looking into the research conducted at the old OSF hospital. During the investigation, I discovered research data was stolen by a spy from Ceyron. I can't go into details, but it's very dangerous. It must be erased as soon as possible. So you want to infiltrate a Ceyron research facility? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It should be in the Supernatural Life Research Facility. Okay. Will it just be the two of us? Yes, that would be best. I guess fewer people involved would be better for secrecy. I'm glad you understand. Let's leave immediately. 
Wow, I can never get used to this camera angle, whichever, whichever works. So, what we're gonna do? Infiltrate this area? Wow, can't complain. Kind of late to bring this up, but shouldn't we be hiding as we move so they don't notice us? No, we chose an area with higher activity levels of others like last time. So I believe we will be okay. Oh, so there's gonna be a there's lot a chance of chance they have strengthened security, but it should basically be deserted. I see. Yes. And Bam, bro. And bonus. All right, wow. Hanabi's ability really lasts long. Is it here? It's not here. That really hurts, you know? I really, I almost had confidence that it was here. But since I'm here, I might as well get the... Uh, the secret items. Oh, don't tell me. Are, are you serious? I didn't get this key card back all the way then, since then? Am I stupid or something? There are more others than I expected. I was right to bring you with me. If we take too much time getting there, they may detect us and move the research data to another location. I'm glad I came. Why were you looking into the research at the old OSF hospital anyway? I apologize if this sounds harsh, but I'll be honest with you. While I was observing you, I feared that I might lose my power one day as well. Aww. Oh. Well, you are a dud like me. Yes, I began looking into the research the government did on powers to alleviate my fear. I was hoping I would discover a way to treat the loss of powers. Is that why you ask for my help? Yes. Since you already know my secret, I didn't have to lie to you. Hmm. It was rather selfish for me to ask you. I'm sorry. It's all good, brother. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you asked me to help, no matter the reason. So, did you find what you were looking for? Unfortunately, no. In fact, I found the opposite. You don't mean... Wait. Yes. It's data on eradicating psionic hormones from human brains with drugs and completely erasing powers. Wow. <sighs> Why would they research something like that? It seems their plan was to use it as a weapon to depower enemy psionics. And now say we're I can see that. Continuing that research. Reasonable. If it's implemented, it'll be a huge threat to the OSF since we use our powers as a weapon. And many more people will face discrimination as duds. We have to stop this research. Let's find that data and erase it. All right. And uh, here. There you go. Experimental division. Let's go. Okay. Is this the lab researching the stolen data? It should be. <laughs> it seems no one is here. Let's get this done. What is this? <laughs> oh. What's wrong? It seems Seiron's research has already progressed further than I expected. This is a plan to disperse the drug indiscriminately and turn an entire city into duds. If they use this, they may be able to turn all humans in New Himuka into duds. What is Seiron thinking? Delete that right now. They probably make a copy What's to the supercomputer. Delete the data, Luca. I just had a strange thought. Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if there were no powers? What are you saying? I've thought about it all my life. I understand Our society that. society is fixated on the superiority of powers. Whether you have powers or not decides your fate. But if all humans were duds, no one would ever have to worry about powers again. But that's your How own fears, though. Have you seen that would never have happened if there were no powers. Calm down. Do you understand what you're saying? I do. He's a little crazy. You know that no tragedy will be prevented by a weapon like that. People cause those tragedies, not powers. 
taking them away won't solve anything. Facts, facts. I know this has been bothering you. I get worried when I think I might lose my power too. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make it right to take them all away. You're the one that is most fixated on the superiority of powers. I apologize. That was a bad joke. Bad uh, joke, my ass. That was bad joke, my ass. All right, I believe that. Come on, don't scare me like that. Don't worry, I've deleted all data related to the research, including the backups. That's a relief. No, no. Let's go back. It's dangerous to teleport with so many others around, so we should take the same route we came. Yeah. Okay. It was a nice Let's detour. Go. I had fun. The way he was talking, even if it was a joke, he sounded kind of serious. Because he was. He must have been really hurting to be tempted by it. Hey, it's understandable. My man was going through a couple things in his life. Our mission is complete. That was good work. I'm glad nothing happened. You surprised me a little back there. I was only teasing you. <laughs> teasing? Besides, Bro. I'll be honest with you. I hated you for a bit. Why? What? It was more jealousy than hatred. Ah, uh, okay. I've been a research subject ever since I was young. We're both duds. But your family still loved you. Ah. Uh. They thought that you could never really understand how I felt. Oh. I see. I mean, he lost his family, though. I'm sorry. I didn't know you felt that way. You don't need to apologize. What you said before made something clear to me. We see the world differently because we've lived different lives. And because of that, I think there are things I could learn from you. You're right. I am the one that is fixated on superiority of power. Yes. <laughs> That was in the heat of the moment. But it's facts. Are you embarrassed to have acted like such a child? Are you disappointed that someone like me is a Septentrion? Nah. No one's perfect. No. I'm glad you told me how you really feel. I hope you'll feel free to be honest with me in the future. You certainly are honest to a fault. Perhaps I could learn that as well. So, should we run back to the hideout? What? It's pretty far. You're here, so why don't we teleport? Joggy is just as important as strength. Let's go. What? That's not what I meant when I said to feel free. No! No! Imagine without superpowers. That would have been pray uh hypothetically speaking. Okay, that's my boy. Also, we didn't increase our level. Uh what was this? Brother? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. So, what are your thoughts on a world without powers, you would tell? I'm just speaking hypothetically. Do not worry, I'm not teasing anymore. This is only a hypothetical position. Right. It's a little worrying, but with or without powers, I think that humans will stay the same. I think that's what's important. I think what's important is the connection in our hearts to each other. Very, very MC-like, I will say. Uh, you never cease to shock me, you would tell. The connection is in our hearts. I would like to think on that myself. Hmm. So, what level are we with him? Where is our level? Uh, oh, Lucas over here. So, level 50. Uh, level 50. Uh, so, you're not gonna show me a little bit more love? No, no, no. Screw off then. Jeez. I went through all that hard work for you. 